Brothers and sisters, we don't have time for nobody but ourselves. My name is Brother Legend and I'm here to raise your consciousness. The thing I like about the national attention and coverage that Palestine is getting is that it has forced a lot of brothers and sisters to take a look at how other marginalized communities are being affected by American imperialism. The thing I don't like is that many brothers and sisters in our spaces have made video after video and hosted live after live about content relating to Palestine while our people are going through this. If you're a black man, woman, or child, you can't tell me you don't know someone that looked like this in your family. The problem is that we have been so brainwashed that we prioritize people that don't even look like us but have the same oppressor more than we prioritize people that come from the same land, history, and culture that we come from going back thousands of years before we were oppressed. Meanwhile, children that look like our children are being forced to dig up minerals to build phones for us to lift our voices for someone else's oppression. And I get it, y'all are humanitarians. Okay, so why don't you start with the people that have been treated the most inhumane for the longest time? Because this number is half the population of Palestine. And that's just in one country. 2.5 million people got three months to live. And y'all putting up all these watermelons and raising money for 35,000. The moment you take your eyes off your own oppression, you give everybody else an excuse to do so as well. It's time for us to get on code. Check out this GoFundMe above me. Free Congo, free Haiti, free Sudan, free black people everywhere.